Good evening and welcome to Edge Talk, the Wednesday night session here at the Edge Church, the Edge Community Church to be exact, at 2705 East Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. We're so happy to have you with us tonight. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, here's the landmark. We're right across the street from Aikens and right down the plaza from Ladies of the Sea next door to the Perfect 10 Nail Salon. Uh, tonight, as we continue, we're excited that you've invited us to your iPad, your phone, your desktop, or whatever you may be watching us on uh, via Facebook Live and YouTube and all other social platforms. We're excited about this word that we've been preaching. Uh, tonight, as we continue, uh, this year, our series for the year is Forward Focus 2016. Forward Focus 2016. And each month, we're breaking down different elements that talk about how we value life and this month we're talking about valuing life itself and valuing time and valuing us and we've been talking about boundaries for the last couple of weeks and you've written me and said that it's blessed you and we want to continue there tonight i'm excited about this word so of course as we go to the word tonight you would turn to matthew the fifth chapter the 33rd through the 37th verse you can and we're using the king james tonight uh, we're really going to concentrate on the 37th verse. So that's where we're going to go, and that's where uh, we need to be tonight. So the 37th verse reads, But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. But whatsoever is more than that cometh of evil. So tonight, what we would say to you tonight is let your yes be yes and your no be no. That's the imperative part here. For the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about uh, the way to build uh, and to preserve better boundaries. So last week, we said that you, that you need to be able to name your limits, that you need to be able to tune into your feelings, you need to be direct. And this week, we want to talk about giving yourself permission. How many of us understand that oftentimes we give everyone else permission to say to us, to do to us, to be to us, but we never give ourselves permission to really set those boundaries and hold on to those boundaries. Has anybody ever been there? You let everybody in there. You let everybody else slide. You let everybody talk to you any kind of way. So tonight we want to talk about the boundaries that you've set for yourself. It's giving yourself permission. Look at that. I give myself permission. Look at this. Fear and guilt and self-doubt are big potential pitfalls. Uh, God has said this, that we might fear the other person's response if we set and enforce our boundaries. For we might feel guilty by speaking up or saying no to family members. Many believe that we should be able to cope with a situation or say yes because they're a good daughter or son, even though we, they're feel, we feel drained or uh, taken advantage of. And we might uh, wonder if we ever deserve to have boundaries in the first place. Because look at this. Boundaries aren't just a sign of healthy relationships. They're a sign of self-respect. If I'm going to value me, one of the things that I've got to do is have a healthy portion. Not narcissism not conceitism, but what self-respect, amen? I can't expect anyone to respect me until I respect myself, just like I can't expect anybody to love me until I love myself. I can't expect anybody to honor me until I honor myself. Somebody asked me, well, why are you staying on this so long? Because what's happening is that we're letting people in and we're letting them do whatever they want to to us and then we wonder why we move no further in our destiny, why our focus uh, it can't be forward because we are stuck in a place and we keep remembering the last time somebody hurt me, the last time somebody did me wrong, the last time somebody took advantage of me. The last time they did, it was because you let them without that saying that it would be the last time. How many of us understand in order for it to be the last time, we've got to make it the last time, amen? That's why boundaries are so important to us if we're going to have the kind of life that God intends. If we're going to walk into our next level or dimension in destiny, we have got to have a healthy self-image of who we are and know what we will and will not put up with. Amen? There's some folks you're going to just have to tell them no. This week I had to say no to the same person 30 times. And there was a time if they came, they called, I went running. But this week I was like, but I had to ask myself a very selfish question. What's in it for me? What's in it for me? How many of us never bother to think 
because we were taught that it's more blessed to give than to receive, that we didn't think about what is it, it's in it for us. The Bible reminds us that when we reap, we sow. But if we're not sowing, if we're so, if, if what we sow is hurt and disappointment and frustration, then evidently who we're sowing into is bad seed. We've been throwing pot, throwing our pearls before swine and expecting them to regurgitate them with a full strength. And it's not going to happen. They don't appreciate the value of the pearl. Amen? How many of us know that there's some people that don't appreciate the value of who we are because they see that we really have a so, a, excuse me, a low self-evaluation of ourselves. I, I talk about this all the time. When you watch Shark Tank, when they come into the tank, they have a, what they call evaluation. It is an evaluation of what the business is worth. So that if, uh, the business, if I'm willing to give you 10% of my business asking for $300,000, that means that I think that my business is worth $3 million. How many of us tonight do not know our own evaluation? Because we don't know how to value ourselves. That's what boundaries are for, amen? So that's tonight why we're talking about the fact that I have to give myself the permission to say no. I have to give myself permission to put the, the, the boundary in place. So tonight, that's what we are. We're giving ourselves permission to say self, self say huh. We, we, we're giving ourselves permission. Okay. So how do I begin to do that? Look at this. Permission is the only thing you can give to yourself and the only thing that you can hold or withhold from yourself. Because, why? Because it's already yours. I give myself permission to be all that I can be. I give myself permission to love myself. I give myself permission to say yes and or to say no. It's not about um, deserving or being good enough. It's about recognizing the power over my entire life. That's why I can give myself permission. When I recognize who I am because I now acknowledge whose I am. And oftentimes what happens in our process is that we forget. We don't think because it's what we, when we were singing the song in praise and worship, the precious song, uh, what, what's that line that says, um, I thought my intentions were good, just act like a Christian should and hope someone watching would be, uh, would, watching would approve and be inspired. But it's like, uh, and it goes on to say, just cause of the pressure, the pressure, the pressure to be someone else that the church has made. How many of us understand today that the church has been making folk because folk didn't realize they were the church? Let's let that marinate for just a second. When I recognize that I am a crucial part of this entity, and that I bring value to it because I bring my gift and I sow my gift and I sow my time. That I bring value. I don't need the approval of the church. I don't, need, I, I don't even need the acceptance of the church. See, I, what I need is for the church to acknowledge that I too am the church. And even if they don't, I'm still going to be it with or without your permission. Amen? Because I'm giving myself permission. So we look at this, look a little, look a little. So what I'm really doing when I start talking about this permission is I give myself permission to be all that I am. The Bible says that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. But when was the last time you gave yourself permission to be all that? We, we, people say, you look nice to the old, this old thing. Taking away my permission. Now, but, and, and some of us, it's really sincere that, you know, it, it's just something I threw on. But at the same time, some of us are like, oh, this old thing, yeah, it's old, but it's all you got. So if, it, if you put it on and you wore it well, evidently somebody thought enough of you to compliment it or was inspired to compliment you by it. Own that and give yourself permission. Look at this. Okay, thank you, Holy Ghost. Give yourself permission to be grateful. Humble yet grateful that somebody noticed. That's okay. But oftentimes we don't give ourselves that kind of permission. Amen. Look at this. Tonight we're filling out a permission slip. 
Mm, look at this. I, you put your name there, give myself permission to follow my passion and take action today to achieve my goals. You need to put that somewhere on your, on your board. Again, I give myself permission. Does not say that it's an act of Congress. I don't have to have the board meet. I don't have to have the peanut gallery come together. I give myself permission to follow my passion and take action today and every day to achieve my goals. This, this note serves as a reminder that I kick butt that I am all that and no one can stop me from being happy, including me anymore. I gotta give myself permission to tell myself, self, slow your roll. Because in so many times, how many of us understand that we are our biggest holdup? We gotta give ourselves permission tonight. So that's why uh, I gave you a little permission slip. If you need it, I'm gonna make sure that in the body of this, I'm going to put the permission slip so that you have one and you can, you know. So, so let me ask you this tonight. What do you give yourself permission for? What do you give yourself permission for? How about this? I give myself permission to be happy. To be happy. So if I give myself permission to be happy, that means I give myself permission to be happy. It's like, well, wait, wait, isn't that the same thing? No, 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 no. What happens is once I give myself the permission to be happy, then what I'm doing is allowing myself the, uh, the, the, the permission to pursue happiness. Amen? Look, it's written in the archives of, of history. We, we give these inalienable rights, the pursuit of happiness, amen? But how many of us don't pursue happiness? We wait for happiness to pursue us. See, if I gotta wait for it to find me, I may be sad a lot longer than I was supposed to be. So I give myself permission to not only be it, but to pursue it, amen? I give myself permission to be myself. How many of us, when other folk come around, we start putting on airs and we start uh, acting a little bit different? Sometimes we are not ourselves because we don't know if they're going to like that. Uh, look, the, 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 I love the gospel according to Dr. Seuss. It says this, why fit in when you were made to stand out? My friend Tim is with us tonight, and Tim is a beautiful vocalist. He sings and heaven stops to listen. But imagine if Tim said, oh, well, I do all right. And then I'll sing if somebody asks me. He said, no, people, no, no. And now Tim has put himself out there that they don't ask him to sing, they commission him. There's a difference in being asked to sing and being commissioned to sing. Amen? But it's when I give myself permission to be myself, all of the things fall into place. I become me, myself, and I, and some of the other voices that I might hear from time to time. But I give myself permission to be as quirky as necessary, to be as free, and to be as vocal, and to be as honest as I, because that's who I really am. But I'm giving myself permission. Look at this. I give myself permission tonight to walk away immediately from anything that gives me bad vibes. If it don't feel right, I can walk away from it. We were talking last week, and we talked about the fact that we do not have to be around people who are toxic. We don't have to be around people who uh, demean us, that they deter us from what we're supposed to do. But tonight, I'm giving myself permission. And what I'm not doing is giving you permission to take from me when you have nothing to sow or bring to me. Look at this. Tonight, I give myself permission to walk away, and there's no need to explain or make sense of it. Just to trust the inner voice, not the inner me, but the inner voice when it talks to me. Amen? Tonight, look at this. I have the permission. Look at this. I give myself permission. Say this with me. I give myself permission to just be. 
Nothing after to just be. In other words, I give myself to, to exist in my finest form. Whether that form is, is formed, forming, or yet to be formed. I give myself permission to be instead of always doing. Doing for others. Doing this. Doing that. Sometimes I just need to be. The Bible says be still and know. There's some moments in life when you just need to be still. And then there's some moments when you need to just be. Amen? Look at this. Even if only for a little while. When I allow myself to be, some of the people that matter around me will benefit from, the, from me, the blessing of me just being. Amen? So look at this tonight. I, we have to understand this, that in this process, I've got to give myself the permission to be, the permission to do. Because if I don't, what happens in my process? I miss out on all the moments that God has intended for me. Look at this. The best gift I can give myself tonight is the permission to change. Think about this. The permission to change. How many of us have been stuck because we thought if we, were, if we became the real us or the us that we knew we were called to be, that people wouldn't like us anymore? Look at this. Our journey as human beings is not fo about following a preordained path, but about creating that path. Life rarely makes any more sense when things are not are done in order. Life makes sense when we are centered in our own hearts and let go of resist, resisting how our unique journey needs to unfold in its own beautiful, unruly way. In other words, when I allow myself to be and I give myself that permission. What happens in the process is that I become greater. Look at this. I've got to give myself permission to rest more. I've got to give myself permission to exercise more, to read more, to be more organized, to be more cleanly, to be more, to explore more, to relax more, to have more patience. Sometimes I have to give myself permission to forget doing more. Hmm. And as I say, I have to give myself permission to be better and to be the best at, at life. Look at this. Because if I don't, what happens in my process is that I end up with this bad attitude. And a bad attitude can literally block our blessings, love, destiny from finding us. Tonight, I give myself to be the re I give myself permission to be the reason in this season that I succeed. Think about that. I give myself permission to be the reason that I succeed. Amen? Amen. Look at this. I said this tonight yesterday. Do not give small-minded people or do not allow small-minded people to hear your dreams. They'll talk you out of them every time. What I would like you to hear tonight is that you cannot hang out with negative people and expect a positive result. That's why the boundaries are so necessary. Because if I continue to hang around people who do not understand me, who do not fulfill me, who do not support me, what happens in the process? I end up exerting or executing efforts to their projects because my project, my purpose, my dream, my goal no longer has the value it did because I let them talk me out. And you know what? Here's the thing. Isn't it a shame when people, when people, when people see your value and you don't? 
That's why boundaries are so necessary because sometimes, again, when we're giving ourselves permission to be, then I realize who I am. I begin to talk to myself about myself. I say, self, 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 uh -huh. So, you know, you a bad mama jamma. You, you, you may not sing like this one, but there's something about the joy in which you do it that brings joy to others. I don't have to look like I Idris or Shamar or Brad or Georgian. I just need to own this and make this. I give myself to be the best. I give myself permission to be the best. Jesse Ricardo Dimitri, Reigns Rollins the second. I know how to be. And then when I run out of what I know, I need to learn some more about myself. But if I don't give myself permission, what happens in the process? I lose me in my process. Amen. That's why I've got to give myself permission tonight. Look at this. Sometimes it takes the relationships that don't last forever to teach the lessons that will. But once I learn the lesson, I've got to give myself permission to put a boundary so that the next time anything looks like that, comes along, it don't get in. Instead, I tell it to get out. Amen? Anybody getting anything from tonight? I, I really want us to understand it's okay to give ourselves permission tonight. It's, it's, it's okay for us to give, our permission, give ourselves permission to succeed. There are some people who are afraid of success, not because of what others will say, but when they get there, will they know what to do with it? You know what? I may not know what to do with it, but I'm going to sure as heck find out. I'm going to make sure that I have people around me. The Bible says iron sharpens iron. I've got to make sure that there's some people that their swords are bigger because that, that says to me they fought greater battles. So therefore, I have to be willing to come up against them and to work with them in order... It's, it's okay to sow into other pe people that are doing something. It's the people who are not doing nothing but want you to do everything. And won't even give you a piece of something in the process. But tonight I have to give myself permission to say no. Because if I don't give myself permission to say no, then I'm the opposite of no is always going to be yes. So when I give myself permission to say no in the process, what I'm doing is giving myself permission to say yes to me more often. And the things that are, that, that, that are coming forward for me. Oftentimes the, the biggest holdup in life for me is me because I put other people before me. I look tonight, I give myself permission to put me first. Amen? I give myself permission to be all that I've called and been called to be in this process. Tonight, give yourself permission. Get your permission slip out. And begin to write it. And then when you write it, look at it. Look at it long and hard and say, look at this. Now that I've given myself permission, what am I going to do with it? Amen? I give myself permission to be honest with myself about myself. The Bible says, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Other, the other version says it will make you free. The bottom line is that you end up free. Don't get caught up in the semantics of things. Oftentimes that's what happens. I give myself permission to have some leeway and understand that it's not always been just because it was said this way doesn't mean it's the only way it can be said. But I give myself permission tonight to be honest with me about me. But get this, oftentimes when I'm, when, when I'm honest about me, to me, about me, I then become honest about some of the people that I have in my lives that while I thought they should be there, they really shouldn't be. There's some folk that we just have to say, see them. And we have to unwrap, as I always talk about, unwrap the gift of goodbye. Look at this. So tonight, I need you to remember that it's okay to be you. It's okay to do you. It's okay. Sometimes we often think that the crowd is indicative of how well we're doing, or it measures how successful we are. I beg to differ. Sometimes folks are showing up because other folks are showing up. They didn't really come because they value who you are and what you do. They were just showing up because everybody else was. 
But when you can get a core group of people who really see your value and see, and see what you're doing and support what you're doing and want nothing in return, those are the people that you keep around. Amen? Tonight, again, give yourself permission to be you, to do you. Look at this. Tonight, and this is a hard one for a lot of people, I give myself permission to fail and be okay with it because what I realized in the process is that I didn't fail. I succeeded in trying. But I give myself permission tonight to be okay with the fact that it may not go the way that I thought it would. It may not be the way I thought it should. I give myself permission. Because how I respond to what the world calls failure will either make me or break me in my process. Amen? So tonight, give yourself permission. Look at this. We talked about giving ourselves permission to fail, but then we also talked about giving ourselves permission to succeed. I want to leave this with you tonight, that our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate, but that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that often frightens us. Let me, let me say this. Oftentimes, our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate, but that we are powerful beyond measure. It is not our darkness I mean, our, it is our light, not our di darkness, that frightens us. So we go back to what Sue said. Because oftentimes it is fear that causes us to fit in when we really should be standing out. Because we realize that to him much is given, much is required. Amen? Amen. So tonight, the one thing that I have that I say to you is that because you have the permission, slip, you are now granted permission. Amen? Tonight, give yourself permission to set boundaries. Give yourself permission to say yes to yourself more and no to other people. Tonight, just give yourself permission and realize this, that you never really fail. Because what FAIL stands for, this is my acronym for FAIL, is first attempt in learning. That's what FAIL is. First attempt in learning. That's what FAIL is. It was my first attempt. And guess what? It won't be your last attempt. But give yourself permission tonight to at least try. Amen? We're so glad that you were with us tonight. I hope that this blessed you. What I would like to remind you of is that you can join us any Wednesday night here live in service at 7.30. We go live on Facebook at 8 o'clock p.m. And then on Sunday mornings, we're here at 10.30 and we go live at 11 a.m. Again, we're at 2705 East Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, Tampa, Florida, 33610. We're directly across the street from Aikens Funeral Home, down the plaza from Ladies of the Sea, and next door to the Perfect Ten. Remember this, that in life, there will be moments where the, the world calls it failure. But in your process, you realize that your fail was only your first attempt in learning. Didn't my mama used to say, at first you try, you don't, what is it? I don't know, forgot, forgot it just that quick. See, I failed. No, when, if, you don't, if you don't first succeed, try, try again. Give yourself permission to try each and every day. And this thing called life, the everyday God experience. Remember, you can also get a copy of my new book, uh, Random. I, could, I forgot it for a second. Random, because I'm looking, I thought you were giving me a signal. Random. <laughs> 30 thoughts while thinking out loud and collecting my thoughts. I guarantee you that if you take this little book, it's the little book with a big message. It's really a book that was written by you, for you, because the 30 thoughts that are in here are 30 thoughts that we randomly posted at some time on social media, and you gave it the highest number of likes, you gave it the highest number of responses, you said that it blessed you and benefited you. I promise you that the $10 investment is worth it. You can go to randomthebook.com or you can leave a message and ask me how you can get a copy of the book. We want you to have a copy, and to, I promise you, putting it in your library will be one of the best things you can do because there will always be a thought for you especially in those moments when you thought you, thought you were failing and you realized that it was just a first attempt at learning. Let's change that learning. Take it was your first attempt at leaping because in life sometimes all you got to do is jump. We'll see you next week. Take care. God bless you.